Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through the 10th. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading may not be for you. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. We're going to get a couple of these and we're going to clarify them at the end. Okay, so that's a new thing. I'm clarifying these cards with those cards at the end. Oh, we had a dropper. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe. It's safe. Can you open your heart, Pisces? Can you? For real love? Oh. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. We're going to clarify it at the end. Oh, a new love. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I'm going to show you the last card that dropped out too. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Who is it? Who's wearing the mask? Who's afraid to love? Pisces. Maybe there's a separation from a new love. I mean, they're right together. Or there's a separation that brings about a new love. Or a renewal of love. Whatever this is. We're going to clarify at the end and see exactly what that is. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Mastering your emotions, moving forward to bring victory and success to your life. This is replacing fear with faith. Finding that mental strength to take action, to move forward, to travel in the direction of your heart's desire. Mmm, there's our ego card. That is the ego card of the minor arcana. We're just going to get them all before I dive in. Right in the middle of your reading. This is the basis of your reading. There's no closure. I'm going to get the cards before I dive in. So. Ooh. The Two of Swords. Lies being exposed. The truth coming out. You may be severing ties with somebody, releasing something, releasing some worry, some, some anxiety, some guilt perhaps. Something is being released. Maybe it's this person. This could represent any sign, but it generally it represents Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we have Leo, we have Cancer. So I feel as though you guys are planning something. You're planning, okay? You're taking your time. Something is making you feel lost and empty inside. There's something that is incomplete here. This is incomplete. You know what it is even though you may have been trying to deny it. But you see the situation clearly. You may be waking up to a situation, waking, uh, going through some sort of awakening, realizing the truth of a situation. 
That's what this is. Okay, and this is realizing the truth as well. Somebody is realizing the truth about their ego. These are both realizing the truth. And this is ego. This is also power struggles, conflicts. Somebody has been brought to their knees. Could be you, could be the other person, could be both of you. I feel as though there is an opportunity for happiness, okay? This is happiness. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, separate myself from the situation, but it's really hard. And that's a message for you as well. Um, there's something that is incomplete. And there's been some observation. Somebody has been stalking behind the scenes. Probably both of you. Okay. Because there's two. Okay, there's two. There's takes two, and I think it's a, it's a mutual thing. It is a mutual thing. Oh, my goodness. You may have received or heard some und undesirable information that is causing you to move forward. Take action. Yeah, somebody is absolutely taking action here. This is act now, think later. Get moving. Get your ass in gear with these two cards. You know, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is also about finding the confidence and the courage and the strength to move, to bring happiness to your life. Ooh, there's a tower moment over this fire sign. So there could be some rude awakening that allows you to move forward. There could be some breakup that causes you to take action. I mean, this is a breakup. It is. It was a false foundation. And you're clinging, you are clinging to the past. You are, in, this is love, the past. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not funny, I'm sorry. Um, this tower moment may cause you to move, because this is action, towards love and happiness. The tower moment is going to happen for you, okay? It's going to, because it's, it's touching you. It's going to force you to take action. It is. It really, truly is. Now, it, nothing can force you, right? Nothing can force you because you are the master of your emotions at this time. You are the master of your emotions. But there's an opportunity for a reconciliation, a new beginning in love. Whether this is new love or a reconciliation, it could go either way. But there's a breakup that happens before this, this love. Okay, because this is the breakup, the tower moment. But there's an opportunity for victory and success all over in this situation. But this is letting go of ego. Okay, this is the other ego card in the minor arcana. Or arcana, however, it doesn't matter how I say it. Okay. Both two ego cards. This one's reversed. It's stepping outside of your ego, finding the confidence to bring victory and success back to your life, doing the noble thing, taking action. I'm not even going to think about this another minute. I'm moving. I am. I'm moving. I'm replacing that fear with faith. I am moving forward to bring peace and serenity back to my life. I'm stepping out of this, this troubled area that I have been stuck in. And you may be going back to something because, like I said, there's no closure with the world card in the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is going back. It is. It's going back. You may have been involved with some bad karma for some reason because the Wheel of Fortune reverse will bring you bad luck if you don't do the noble thing. So I'm not sure what this is, but this is bad luck that comes into your life because of something you've done in the past. I mean, that's what this is. Some of you don't want to hear it, you don't want to believe it, and that's fine. This is bad luck for past actions, period.
This is happy independence. This is enjoying the finer things in life. Single and I love it. I will take care of myself at this time and be quite happy about it and wait for the perfect opportunity to present itself to me. So this is abundance, this is inner abundance that, and outer abundance that comes to you as you realize what you're worth. You take actions to fulfill your life as needed. There's an opportunity for commitment here, happiness, bliss, okay, there is. After you move on from something and accept the truth of a situation, okay, this is accepting the truth, brings commitment, happiness. This could be even a gathering. You know, you could end up single as well because we do have the separation card. I know I'm jumping around, but this is the independent person, man or woman, who end, who is taking care of business on their own, moving on from something that... Let's find out what you're moving on from. Was bringing you backwards. Something was bringing you backwards. Something was bad karma, bad juju. Oh, God. This is a reconciliation or a second chance. <sighs> this is moving on from ego by the looks of things. Now, this is a card of karma, and this is a card of karma. So this is bad karma in reverse. This is good karma. This is the truth is being revealed, okay? This is the truth, this is the truth, and this is the truth. Some sort of truth is being recognized, period, This at this time. And it does have to do with ego and it has to do with ties that were severed or are being severed. Some ties are being severed. Okay, there is. Some ties are being severed. Perhaps so you can have a reconciliation. I mean, this is a reconciliation. This is a reconciliation. Could be new love. This, is, this could be a reconciliation or new love. This is usually, you know, another chance. A resurrection of something that was dead. You know, what goes around comes around with the Wheel of Fortune, upright or reverse. You may have gotten yourself into a situation that woke you up. Because these are both awakenings. Both of them. So you may, yeah, there's an awakening here. It's like you may have gotten yourself into a bad situation that shook you <laughs> this is the shake up okay that shook you to the core and now this is about doing the noble thing finding the confidence to do so but you may be a little emotionally withdrawn at this time you may feel a little cold you may feel like you know, you don't have it in you to make this offer right now, whatever it is. This is like, uh, or accept an offer. You may feel like independence is the best option at this point. I, I need to be alone to figure out what the hell I want. You were dealing, could have been, you were dealing, you may have been dealing with a Gemini. You may have been dealing with um, anybody, could have been a Leo, I don't know. But I feel as though there is... You were dealing with somebody that brought you this bad juju, okay? And it hurt you. It hurt you. You were dealing with somebody that had tricks up their sleeve. They had hidden agendas. They were lying to you, and they used you. Somebody used you recently. Recently. And it may have brought you backwards. Very cunning, charming individual, this person that you were dealing with. They may have offered you love, but they didn't have any follow through. You know what I mean? They may have said all the right things, but they had no, uh, 
it was all lust. Okay, it was all sexual. They had no intention of honoring their words, put it that way. It was all based on lust, probably addictions, sex. It wasn't, what does the devil bring in? The devil, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn as well. You could be dealing with any sign, but whoever you were dealing with was lying to you, and that is the damn truth. And that was, that's, this is somebody recently. Okay, it is. I think there was an offer that was, um, it sounded really, really, really good, but it was a lie. It was a lie, a complete fucking lie. And now you're probably feeling like you're duped. You feel like you've been duped. You know that you've been lied to. You've been manipulated. <laughs> you've been used, perhaps for sex. I don't know. Or money. Or both. But I feel as though you have an opportunity for new love here. You do. Somebody loves you, Pisces. Somebody does. Follow your intuition, okay? Because your intuition is really talking to you. There's an opportunity for a new, a new suitor. You know, this could be a, an invitation to a gathering or you meet somebody at a gathering, an event, okay? You go to something and you meet somebody, but this is somebody who is better suited for you. It's underneath this reconciliation card, so I don't know if it is a reconciliation. There's an opportunity for, for new love, which we already know. I see this here. It's when you start to... This is If you look up the Five of Cups reverse, it's realizing the truth. It is. So it's realizing and that there's another opportunity. You know, that there's, there's still an opportunity for the Two of Cups. There's still opportunity for a partnership. Um, it's like restoring your faith and that's why this is safe for you to love it's like don't let this hurt whoever this person is that used you hold you back from loving again because there is an opportunity there's a raw opportunity for love here there is yeah but you're closed off to it it's like you're afraid you're really afraid to open your heart at this time there's been a break and a breakup. There has. There's been a separation. Recently. Recently. Probably within the last, I'm talking probably the last two weeks from the time you watch this, there's been a separation. Could be longer. But I think this is a recent separation. I do. And now you're trying to get your life back on track. You know, sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. And you have quite a few sixes here. They're buried. I'm not going to dig them out. But there's one right here. There's one right here. There's another one down there. The six of wands. Anyway, six, six, six. Choices. It's a time of reevaluation. It's the journey towards balance and harmony. Sixes are also a spiritual wake-up call. So I think that you guys have gone through some sort of awakening via the hands of a deceptor. And that's why deception is on the bottom. Somebody deceived you recently. And it has caused you to wake up. And get your life back on track. It's like, you know, I can't be involved in this shit. So I feel like right now you're working on restoring what's been lost. That's what this looks like to me. It looks like you were dealing with somebody. Perhaps it was, it was just based on... Who knows what. But it was a lie. It was based on a lie with the devil card. It was sex, lust, and and addictions. You know what I mean? It was a... Maybe it was a codependency factor. You know? Um, who knows? But anyway, I feel like there is an opportunity for commitment here in the long run with someone new after you get your life back on track. And you figure out what you're doing. When you replace that fear with faith. Because I see faith being restored here as well. Faith and love. And that is why this card came up. It is safe for you to love. Separation and new love. Let's, let's clarify it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. You do deserve to receive equal, you know, an equal, 
you deserve to receive somebody who is going to put in the equal amount of energy, you know, who is going to give what you give, okay? Whoever this devil is that you have been dealing with, this manipulative liar with the magician reverse right above it that you've been dealing with, that you have recently broke up with, is didn't didn't bring balance to your life and you deserve somebody who is going to put in the equal amount of give and take you know it takes two not one anyway it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all mm, this is closing a door okay so this is you know and right now, this is staying in a safe situation, staying safe. So this, is, this makes complete sense. It's like right now, you're probably protecting yourself from love because it's the safest option. And that is the truth, too. You guys are probably protecting yourself from a new partnership because you just want to be safe. It's You've been hurt. You have. You have. But I do see you taking action to replace fear. Okay? Replace fear with faith. This is fear of change, okay? You're, you're, you're really afraid to open your heart again. That's what this looks like to me. Um, I think somebody has really duped you in a big, big, big way, and I think it's happened recently. And now you've closed off your heart. And this is the truth. You're probably like, oh, man, I don't trust anybody. Separation. I think right now you're hurting. That's what it looks like to me. But with this hurt, you're also being enlightened. You know what I mean? You're, you're going through some sort of awakening. Awakening. Okay? You are. It's like you're, you're changing. Yeah, something is being removed. This is removing obstacles. So time apart from your partners on the horizon. You're separating from somebody. You're, you're, somebody is leaving your life. And that's where the severing ties comes from too. Somebody is being removed from your life. There, you could be, you know, this is the end of a relationship. There's too much feuds. There's too much insecurity. There's too much, there's no abundance. There's nothing solid about it. And so there's definitely a separation here. And it hurts. It hurts. You are hurting. I knew that you are. It's like you're suffering. You probably don't have much fight left for love. New love. Ooh. This is making the decision to stand up, to stop being in limbo, to see things from a new perspective. Now, this is you taking a risk on new love, making the decision to stand up. But this is liberation, this is freedom. Ooh, yes, there is new love. There's an opportunity for love here. A soulmate connection. Another six. Another six. So this is a choice. You have to make a choice. Now you probably have an um, opportunity to take a risk with someone new. But you have to decide. Do you want to... This is a card of freedom. It's a card of liberation. So you may want, because this is a choice between two people. You separate from one, you have an opportunity between another one. So once you free yourself and you liberate yourself from this feeling of hurt or whatever, and you feel good about your independence, that's when this is going to come in. Taurus. Gemini. Pisces. Pisces, Taurus, Gemini. This is lack of faith. Not listening to your inner guide. Not believing in this new love, this new opportunity. You will live with the consequences of your choice. Trust me. 
not wanting a commitment. This is, do you, <laughs> okay. All right, this is sacrifice. You are afraid, there's an opportunity for love. There is, and this is a reconciliation. I don't know, I don't know. This is an opportunity for new love. Perhaps a reconciliation. Do you want to be independent? And not really have a commitment? But still want this love? This is like, this is, this is liberation. This is freedom. Afraid of commitment. But I love you. You're my partner, you're you're my soulmate. I don't know what the hell this is. This is a lack of faith in this love. But this is freedom from those negative thoughts. Replace the fear with faith. That's what this is. Swords are thoughts. Replace that fear with faith. Look at things from a new perspective. It just came to me. You have to see things. If you keep seeing things the same way that you've always seen them, you're screwed. You're screwed. This is lack of faith. You have to replace that fear with faith. There's an opportunity but you have to make that, this is making that decision. The decision has been made to either go back or walk away. And the time is now. You may have invested a lot of time in something. Could be seven years. Now the Eight of Cups goes to the Nine of Cups. So somebody could be walking towards wish fulfillment after they leave something that hurt them behind. So there's an opportunity for love here, Pisces, after you separate from a situation that is a lie. Could it be a reconciliation? It could. It absolutely could. It could be somebody brand new. It could be the renewal. I mean, new love... This card comes up when it's it could be a brand new new love period or it's a renewal of a love that you're in. Wish I had the book so I could read it to you, but I don't know where it is. But this could be a reconciliation as well. I don't know. For some of you, it's a brand new spanking love, but you have to let go of the hurt. You have to stop lying to yourself. You have to remove yourself from a situation that is toxic. It's not good for you. So I feel like there's, there is an unexpected choice being presented to you. You may face somebody face to face and a noose and a spark um, ignites. You may, this person could, you know, We all know what this card is. It's the past. It's the past. Okay? It's somebody for, you know, there could be a run-in that reignites love. I mean, I, I, could be anybody. Could be anybody. Could be somebody you went to school with. You could meet this person at a church. Okay? There's a church. Okay, or an institution of some sort. It could be a work institution, a corporation, something like that. Where you have a run in, and, and you and you, it's undeniable. It's an undeniable thing. You can't deny it. And I mean, there's an undeniable soulmate connection here. Period. It is what it is. So I feel like there's an opportunity for. You know, this card also signifies love heals. 
So love does heal. Love heals. When you love somebody, you know, there's a, when you truly love somebody and you take action and you, you know, prove that you love somebody, there's, there's nothing that can break that bond. Nothing. Didn't you guys have this one before? I think I, I think you did. I'm not sure if it was you or not. I'm going to read it again. Go slow. Take time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take the time to go slowly, new perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuition. Power is born in those times when you relax in the present moment. Sometimes the mist and fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything and I can see that you probably do. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so, that, so as not to fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust that inner voice. And you have not been trusting your inner voice. Your inner voice, the, the, who, whoever you think about all day long, all night long, out of the blue, that's your inner voice. If you don't listen to your inner voice, Wherever that Wheel of Fortune is reversed. It's buried. I guess I'm not going to find it. But it's here. I don't know. Anyway, you'll get bad luck with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. When you try to fight destiny, bad shit happens. Over and over and over again. But you know what your path is, so you follow your path, take your time, and do what's right for you. There's an opportunity for new love when you're ready. But I think right now you're hurting. <laughs>